Hey everyone. So I thought I'd do a few revenge raids. I haven't really recorded too many of them lately. Um, but I do get asked questions about them. And well, I'm sure a lot of people ask question of questions about raids. When you first start out, it's hard to revenge. I get hit so much that I don't actually look for anybody to raid. I just raid from who's already been in my watchtower. So as you can see this Alexander, I never did get revenge on that one, but I tried. Then the one raid after that got revenge on the third one. I get hit by a heck of a lot of stronger teams though. And I, I think everybody finds that when they first start out, they're just players that are gonna keep re-rolling until they find a weaker opponent and guarantee themselves a win. So that's just how they play. To me, that takes the challenge out of it, though I don't find that enjoyable whatsoever, but there's people that do. So when you're first starting out, just you have to expect that. It's just the way it is in the game. And really for me raiding, I fill up the miss mission box and I leave it. I don't do anything other than that. I'm, I'm going for the food and the iron. <laughs> really, nothing more. Trophies only mean something when you're trying to get to a different loot tier. So if you look at the raid season, our active season is 20 more days pretty much. And I'm in gold right now. But you can, with the raid season, you can get rank rewards and tier rewards. So, your end rank, you can get rewards for that. And you can also get rewards for the tier. I'm not sure why the rank rewards is not loading, but that's okay. So, at some point um, in my main account, I'll hit master and that'll be fine. I'll get the rewards for that. And then... Uh, in here, I've only ever hit up to diamond. Right now, I'm in platinum. It'll take me a while to hit challenger. And even longer to hit master in this account, which is fine. Not a big deal. But when it ends in 20 days, I'll get some of these. So, And your loot tier also will help with this. Um, so basically, right now it's based on gold oh I am in gold okay so platinum or er, platinum I've hit this raid season already so I just gotta try and get back up to diamond so um, if I do happen to hit platinum along the way of me filling this mission box then I'll get a couple more items in the loot roll that's basically all it is so those items could be promo mats but most times they're just your crafting materials and weapons parts and so on. But that's the only thing trophies are really good for. They're really not good for much. You're just more or less trying to hit different tiers along the way. That's all. Okay, so here we have a, another much stronger team as usual. So I thought I'd kind of break down why I'm taking who I'm taking and that I stack against the tank. And I, I have done this in other videos, sort of talked about it along the way. So I am going to take blues and try and get Zidane out of the way. So he's not fully powered up. He's only at 480. So fourth promotion, fourth star level fourth tier and he's fully leveled up waiting on his last promotion so if you ever hear anybody refer to them as being at 480 360 that sort of thing that's what they're referring to right now he's at four star level and he's fully leveled up to 80 so five would be the last star level last promotion and a hundred five a hundred is completely leveled so if you ever hear any lingo like that, that's what they're talking about. So, 
Bridget's fully promoted at 480, that sort of thing, and so on. And uh, with the three stars, it's 360 is third tier, 60 level, fully promoted. So, all right, so my strategy is just basically the same every time. It's to stack against the tank and see if I can get rid of them and then concentrate on one side or the other and pick them off like chess pieces. So we'll see what we can do here. Doom hammer. <laughs> That's an awesome alliance name. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Hmm, boy, this is not giving me much in the way of blue tiles, that's for sure. Zidane's a great all-around hero. He hits, he's a multi-hitter, hits three, and then he also heals along the way. That's a... Uh, it's a bonus to have him. Okay, now I want to go for one side or the other. <laughs> Not that it matters with having two of my heroes, my striking heroes already out. Oh, nice. So I usually go for either who's lower in health or who's the more dangerous. So right now, if I could, I would keep going for Orochi and get rid of him, get rid of him and Aiko, but I'm going to lose this one. Alright, let's see if I can actually get uh, some better bloody tiles, because that was not nice at all. Oh well, there you go. It's a better start. We'll see if they keep coming up or not from the bottom. So far, no. Uh, okay, well, setting off the cross bombs might be the best way to go about this because it'll set off enough tiles that a bunch will come up from underneath. All right, at least I got some healing and armor going this time. All right, it's an off color, but I think I'm gonna go for the red grenade. Anytime you can make a grenade, it, it usually is pretty good. There are times when I do avoid it, but not too often, even if it's an off color one it'll end up helping you move a lot of tiles at once, so you do kind of want to go for those if you get them. Alright, I'm going to go for this side now and try and pick them off, because he is dangerous, so is Aiko. And I set myself up there for a green grenade, which is good. This might charge Boomer all the way, we'll see. Yes. Okay, that's good. Ah, oh, of course. Now Boomer might miss when he hits. Yeah, of course he did.
Okay, I'm gonna keep on working on this side. So... Let's go. How much health does he have left? 337. So, let me fire. Alright, perfect. Because I want to actually throw the defense down onto her. Because I'm gonna... I should get rid of Arachi here. He's only got 111 health after Hollow Point hits him. Perfect. Alright, that worked well. Yeah, hit her with some purple tiles. Woohoo! Almost got her. Oh yeah, she only got seven on her. Okay. Now, thanks to the cascade, managed to get rid of Bridget too, so that's good. Damn dodge. <laughs> For real. Wow. There we go. Okay, so it wasn't too bad. That second board was a heck of a lot more generous. And curious what kind of weapon was on oh yeah the easy pro so 11% dodge of the easy pro plus once Wallace goes off he has dodge for a few turns too so all right okay so I'm gonna swap in a yellow here stack against the tank again I like Hertzfeld I know he's a uh, slow charging, but the cat minions sure do help. He's not a bad sniper, just unfortunately that he's slow charging. Hmm. So they have Arachi, Taya, and Zuri all side by side here, and they are all fast charging, so this should be very interesting. Okay, so I got a blue to cover Taya as well. I don't have a red for Zuri. My reds are still so weak. I'm really hoping Training School 13 will turn out a four-star red for me at some point soon. It will. I just am hoping it's sooner rather than later. And this is an ugly board. Goodness. Wow. Raid boards are not liking me at all tonight. <laughs> My goodness. Look at all that red. That's nuts. Okay, so I did have a grenade there that I could have done, but I went for the yellow tiles instead. I'm going to try and get rid of him as fast as I can. Thank goodness. Whew. Now I'm just going to get obliterated here by these two. Yep. Oh, obliterated! That's fantastic. Hmm. Well. Oh. Yikes. That's crazy. Honestly, both these sides, I don't think it matters which one I pick. Both these sides have dangerous heroes that are going to wipe me out. So I'll try for Talia since there's blue underneath her. Oh, this is way too much red. This is awful. I can't even ghost any tiles up the middle because there isn't anything to throw up the middle. Oy. Well, now it doesn't really matter what I throw. 
because both these two are charged up and they're gonna hit me no matter what. I think I'm probably pretty much done. Yeah, I'll be done now after Kayla hits me. So, okay, well, if I can at least get her, she's only got 80 left on her. Then that at least gives me another hero for my mission box to count towards that. But yeah, it's it's tough taking on stronger teams all the time, but I mean, you gotta be pre prepared for that when you first start the game. In my main account, I can pretty much take on everybody now, but I've got fully leveled, you know, four and five star heroes and fully leveled weapons and so it's a lot different than when you start out, that's for sure. And this board is not being very generous with the yellow either. Oh, this is so crazy. I actually should have pulled that down so I got rid of the red tiles too. That's my mistake. I didn't do that. And it would have moved out some more bad tiles as well. I can't believe the off-colored tiles. They're just a flowing. That is so nuts. Oh wow. See, they both have speed weapons on them, and if I, I could take out Dougal and go Catalina for a third yellow, and then the board will give me just red and blue tiles. You watch. Now I don't have any healing, but I just up the impact of yellow tiles quite a bit. Yikes. Oh, well, that was lucky finally. Still too many red tiles. Hmm. Well, I. Okay, I don't really want to charge them anymore, and I do have a some tiles that I can send up the middle and ghost, so that's good. Oh, well that was quite the cascade. I wasn't expecting that one, but let's go for her and get rid of her if I can. Throw a yellow match at her now. 
Ah, so I'm gonna get rid of her before she went off. How much does she have left? Oh, well, she's gone now. Guess I don't have to worry about it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna aim for your Lonnie here. I don't know if I'll get her. Or not before she goes off. Ah, really close. 61. Alright, let's try the cross bombs then and see if the yellow and purple tile impact her enough. Good. Bye bye. Alright, so let's set Boomer off again. Oh, okay, well, 130, this should get her anyway. <laughs> Isn't that crazy though? Trying to revenge on teams with so much more power. But hopefully this gives you guys some ideas. And, uh, It helps you win some. Oh, well, this is a weaker team. What the hell? What the hell is a weaker team doing hitting me? That almost never happens. I'm gonna go back to putting a healer in again. Flint's a good one to have as tank until you get some five stars. He's a uh, the counter attack and the attack up that he does, the attack up buff, is pretty good. Now the only buff to speller I have is Mr. Rex. So I have to see if I can get a yellow match and get Rex charged. There's a yellow match. Good. Okay, Edge is gonna go off. Well, he's not gonna go off. He's not charged yet, but he is gonna snipe at me and tap one of my heroes. I just hope he doesn't tap Boomer. But this yellow match should get rid of Flint. Now. There we go. Oh, see he did hit him, but he didn't take him out. That's good. All right, let's try and get rid of him before he goes off. Oh, sweet. Aim for hollow point next. He's the lowest in health. He needs to go. Alright, now I can work on these boys. Alright, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to try and take him out before he goes off. That way these guys don't heal at all. Not quite enough there to get him. And that's crummy having all that red underneath them now because I don't want to aim at them with the reds. It'll just charge them up. Oh good. Nice cascade. Got him. Alright. Bye bye throttle. So once you get a hole with the tank, 
you've got room to ghost tiles if there are any matches and you need to ghost tiles and then you can kind of pick off one side to the other um hmm I wonder I think I do how many I got 19 out of a possible 30 heroes yeehaw well that was a great run with some fantastic freaking boards I tell ya that says 12k. Oh, I'm just shy of 12k apparently there. So won't let me collect that one. That's funny. Alright. Well, I do have a flask, I think. kind of want to keep going so I can get the mission box filled. So, Oh no, I'm by, I'm by refill. Okay. Never mind. I don't want to buy a raid energy. I guess I'm waiting to fill this one. But that's okay, those are some pretty tough teams with some just god-awful boards. So, but that happens. Hopefully that gives you guys some ideas. You know, once you take the tank out, you've got a little bit of space to work with, and then pick one side or the other. Pick whoever think you think is most dangerous. Pick whoever's got the lowest health. If it's the heroes on the left-hand side, they got the lowest health, and aim for them keep taking them out just pick them off one by one once you've got the hole there and color stacking does help uh it is reliant though of course on you getting the right color tiles and on some of those matches i sure did not <laughs> but that's that's okay you win some you lose some i just gained a bunch more uh food and iron which is what i need to keep going so that's all i'm interested in I got five more days of research going on my TS-20 here. And then I'll be switching this training camp over to TS-20. And I'll be going straight for five stars after that. And I will quit running this one. And then I will drop it down to the extra low cost here. So I always have beaters for when I do get four and five stars at a TS-20. So that's why I'm letting my food get a little bit more full than it usually does. Um, Cause I will need some extra food once I switch these over. It'll be instead of, instead of 70 recruits and 265K, it'll be a hundred recruits and 297K. So. In anticipation of that in a few days, I'm letting my food kind of stay a lot more full than I normally would, so, because I want to get all that switched over, so. So, it's good to do raids. It's free resources to help, help you keep growing, right? So, alright guys, hopefully some of those tips help you out. Uh, that's uh, hard when uh, I didn't win too many of those, but... Yeah, that's the thing with color stacking. I love it, but it can blow up in your face too. So, all right. Take care, guys. Have a good night.